Good morning. My name is Heidi Howard, and today I'm going to be talking about whether we finally reach consensus on how to reach consensus. So if we take a look at the distributed systems that we have in production today, we find that a great number of them are using uh, distributed consensus to implement state machine replication. And whilst there are hundreds of distributed consensus algorithms, in practice, people seem to use one or another of two algorithms. So we've got uh, the Team Paxos and the Paxos-based systems and Team Raft with the Raft-based systems. So on one hand, we have Paxos. Paxos is the classic solution to distributed consensus proposed by Leslie Lamport in 1998. It has Three, over 3,000 citations and is a real staple of distributed systems courses. On the other hand, we've got Raft, the newcomer on the block, which was pitched as being a more understandable alternative to Paxos. It was published in 2014 at ATC. In fact, it won the best paper at ATC. And despite the fact it's just six years old, it has already got 1.2 thousand citations and 3,000 repositories on GitHub. So given that the community is divided between these two algorithms, the question naturally arises of which of these two algorithms is the best, which algorithm should we be using? Should we be using Paxos or should we be using Raft? So to start with, let's have a look at what the Raft paper has to say about this. And the Raft paper addresses this straight away in the second sentence. It says that Raft produces a result equivalent to Paxos. Raft is as efficient as Paxos, and Raft is more understandable than Paxos. Raft has been incredibly successful, as you can see by the stats we saw on the previous slide. And yet the paper says upfront that it's solving a problem that's already been solved and produces an equivalent result. So why is it that Raft has been so successful? I would say there are three reasons why. Firstly, the pragmatic presentation used in the paper. The presentation is absolutely brilliant. It is very focused on state machine replication and it avoids many of the needless abstractions and generalizations that are common in the consensus literature. Secondly, the authors have really tried their best to make the algorithm as simple as possible, such as minimizing the number of messages and um, only allowing uh, decisions to be made in order, unlike Paxos that allows decisions to be made out of order. However, this requires extra complexity because you may end up getting holes in your log. And thirdly, there is the underlying algorithm. So this is the actual Raft algorithm that's, that's described in the Raft paper. What I really want to do is to talk today about how the underlying Raft algorithm, how that core algorithm compares to the core Paxos algorithm. And so to do that, I need to deal with the first two. I need to deal with the fact that these algorithms are described very, very differently using very different sets of terminology. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about a raft style Paxos algorithm. I'm only going to have time to talk about it at a very high level in this talk because I've only got 12 minutes. But if you have a look at our paper, we go through the algorithm in a lot more detail. So both Paxos and raft are trying to solve the same problem. They're trying to decide a total order of operations to be applied to a replicated state machine. You can see this in this in this kind of common diagram. We've got three servers and two clients. Each server has a state machine, has a log of operations that are being passed to the state machine, and has a consensus module implementing an algorithm such as Raft and or Paxos. As well as addressing the same problem, these algorithms also take the same approach. So both of these algorithms would elect one of these servers as the leader. The leader would add operations to their own log, replicate to a majority. And when that leader fails, a majority of servers will get together and elect a new leader. So both algorithms in normal operations, so when there aren't any failures, they have a stable leader and they're working productively. The leader will append operations to its log and it's gonna ask the other servers in the system to do the same. And it's gonna wait back to hear from them. 
Once it's heard from a majority of servers, the leader will mark the entry as committed and could then apply it to the state machine. This is an example of that process. So here we have three servers, or the diagram calls them nodes, and the first server marked L1 is the leader of a term one. And terms are a period which have a single leader. Every server keeps a record of their current term and the term is monotonically increasing over time. If you're more familiar with the Paxos literature, this is also known as a sequence number or a ballot number or an epoch. So whilst we would love to think that the system can carry on like this forever, eventually uh, the leader is gonna fail and is gonna need to be replaced with another server. Um, and this, on this diagram, we look at how this process goes, uh, goes ahead. So initially all the servers are in what's known as a follower state. So these are basically passive servers. They sit there, they do what they're told, they're gonna to be asked to replicate operations and they will do that happily. Each follower maintains a timer for when they last heard from the leader. And if they don't hear from the leader in a long time, they're gonna step up, they're gonna become a candidate and they're gonna ask other people to vote for them so that they can become a leader themselves. If they're successful in this, then they and they get votes from a majority of servers, then they're going to become the leader. Now, in the paper, we find that there are three differences between Raft and Paxos. These differences are limited to the leader election process. For the sake of time, I'm just going to talk about what I believe to be the most important of the three. So both of these algorithms give us the following, following guarantee. They guarantee that a new leader's log will contain all previously committed entries. And it's from this invariant that they base their proof of safety. The two algorithms, however, implement this quite differently. So in Paxos, a follower will vote for any candidate who asks for its vote. But the votes have to include any log entries that the candidate is missing. Once the candidate has votes from a majority of followers, it will use these entries that it received to update its log and thus ensuring that it has any previously committed entries. Raft, on the other hand, uh, implements this a bit differently. So Raft followers will only vote for a candidate if the candidate's log is at least as up to date as the followers. So this means that if a candidate gets a majority of votes, its log is already up to date. So here's another um, diagram similar to the one we saw on the previous slide, except we now have five servers. If you look at the uh, second log and the fourth log in this table, you can see that these logs are quite far behind the other three. In fact, if there was a leadership election at this point, the the server of the second log and the server of the fourth log in Raft would not be able to become leaders because they wouldn't be able to get sufficient votes because none of the other three servers are going to vote for them. However, in Paxos, any of these servers, even the one with the fourth log, could become a leader. So now that we understand how the two algorithms differ, we can go back to our original question of which of these algorithms is the best algorithm to use. The most important takeaway from this paper is that these two algorithms are incredibly similar. They take a very uh, similar approach to solving distributed consensus. And I think for most situations, it really doesn't matter whether you're using Raft or Paxos. In fact, this is a really powerful result because they're so similar. This means that optimizations for one algorithm apply to the other in almost all cases and vice versa. And so it's really useful to ensure that we don't end up with two kind of divided communities working on two separate algorithms and two separate sets of optimizations and basically repeating each other's work. However, there are these three uh, differences, including the one that I mentioned before. And if we look at those three differences, and we can look at those three differences in two different dimensions. There's understandability and efficiency. So these are the two dimensions that were mentioned in the Raft paper. 
So in terms of understandability, we conclude in this paper that there is no significant difference in the understandability between these two algorithms. Now that doesn't mean that there's no difference in understandability between the RAFT paper and the part-time parliament paper, but if you take RAFT's excellent presentation and apply it to Paxos, we believe that those two, the two algorithms are in fact equally as understandable. Interestingly, however, we also concluded that RAFT's leadership election is actually really um, elegant and quite efficient for something that's so simple. We can achieve similar results in Paxos, but it requires a fair amount of uh, additional optimization and thus complexity. So I am out of time. Please have a look at the paper if you're interested for more details, in particular the appendix where we go through a summary of the RAFT and Paxos algorithms. Thank you.